A late fight back saw City under 18s defeated 4-3 by West Brom on Saturday, failing to hold on to a two-goal lead at City's Academy Stadium. In a tight first half, Isaac Buckley almost put City ahead on 17 minutes, his header just wide of the post. Then, around the half-hour mark, they got the breakthrough they were looking for. The referee pointing to the spot as Emmanuel Vazi was brought down and Denzel Bordeaux returning to the side after his goal-scoring exploits in the Youth Cup, easily burying the ball away. As City looked for a second, Buckley charged ahead once more, forcing Ross into a save at his near post. Soon after, Dilrison came close again, sending the ball just wide. West Brom weren't out of it yet though, and before the break sent out their warning shot. Charlie Oliver's excellent block, sending the ball out for a corner. It was to be a sign of things to come as Andre Circu nodded the ball home just after the restart. In reply, a well-taken free kick saw Ross get a hand to Fernandez's strike, but he couldn't quite stop it from pulling its way into the back of the net. What followed was surely a contender for City's goal of the season. An astonishing 39 passes preceded Fernandez's second goal of the game, taking the ball down onto his chest before slotting it home. <laughs> With a victory for City looking likely, West Brom suddenly seemed to spring into action. Fitzwater halving the deficit with 12 minutes left on the clock. And clearly sensing that time was running out, a bounce off the woodwork helped Ezawali make it 3 all. That wasn't to be the end, though, as West Brom made certain they were taking home all three points. Edwards making sure he was in the perfect position to take advantage in stoppage time. Final score from City's Academy Stadium, City 3, West Brom 4.